had in January the inauguration of second term of uh, Her Excellency, the President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, a second mandate. Uh, in looking back as to the achievements of the past and where we start off with, we've had um, we've had an uh, increase in the education and health facilities. Today, we are having community colleges in most of the counties. Never happened before. Today, we are having trained teachers. For about 20 years, teachers were not being properly trained to come out and be able to go into the school since that's a major thing. Thirdly, the health facilities have improved. We have a major hospital right in the center of the, of the country, supported by uh, the Chinese and uh, Egyptians. Infrastructure, electricity and water continues to pose problem. Infrastructure was basically decimated during the war. The electricity, the hydropower, all of that went. So many, we are still using a lot of um, generators and so on. So this remains a major challenge. Electricity has come to a major part of the Monrovia area, but uh, overall, uh, the electricity is a problem, and it, that in turn affects industry. So the establishment of industry and the resurgence of that is affected. What is very interesting in terms of what is happening is the Liberian private rubber farmers are coming back. In the past, of our exports in terms of rubber, 50% was from the major companies, but 50% from Liberian uh, medium and large rubber planters. There was no rubber industry for all practical purposes for the past 20 years. It's coming back now. Not only is Firestone back and others, but Liberian private rubber farmers are beginning to reinvest in the farms. And this is very good because what it means is that you are getting back the productive capacity of the countries. This is very, very important above all. And uh, there's also some other industries that have come that now uh, Liberians are able to feed into it. So that is the situation, I would say. Lots of challenges remain. Security sector reform, governance and the rule of law, all of that remains major challenges, but there's also been put in place some major, um, some major, uh, what do you call it, laws, regulations, etc., to address those remaining problems. There are problems, uh, there are remaining challenges, and so on. Capacity, uh, lack of capacity, because we lost a lot of our skilled people. A lot of the skilled people, all the doctors, and all people left the country. So we got to get. Uh, those back and uh, our diaspora. We want to bring our diaspora back and not only Liberian diaspora, but uh, I would like to see diaspora from other African countries flow into the country and into the surrounding area to help us on, uh, our, on the resurgence of the economy and rebuilding our society, the Liberian diaspora in particular also.